Hola Libra, Sun, Taurus, Moons. Welcome to your 2019 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments. You guys are 123, I believe. Um, the first portion of this video will be me reading the textbook definition of your Sun Moon reading. So please refer to the source I credited below. I'll lay, it to, lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. The second portion of this video will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarify. I'll be dividing the year up into four different sectors. Other things to mention, I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. Right now, the, it's $4.99 per question. I'm also on Facebook and Insta if you would like to like, follow, or share, um, right? Yeah, or message me, sorry. Make sure you check out your playlist for 2018. They're always going to be up just to see if they rang true for you. And then finally, um, compatibility readings will be going up throughout the year. Those are also my playlists. So, Libra Sun, Taurus Moons, the combination of your sun sign and your moon sign produces a charming personality with plenty of independence and purpose. Personality is your greatest asset with Venus ruling both the sun and the moon. Personal charm and attractiveness become the keynote. A friendly personality and the ability to put your personality across makes people like you very much. The emotional balance, courtesy, and friendliness of Libra blends well with the stability, firmness, determination, and set purpose of Taurus. You are natural, easygoing, even slow in getting started along lines of major activity, yet you possess ability for sound judgment that assures practical results. You'll look for shortcuts and efficient ways of doing things to avoid wasting energy. Despite looking for that easier way, you have a strong determination to get the job done. In business, your personality is a great asset as you know how to get along with people. You avoid doing the wrong thing since you have control over emotional impulses. The tactful handling of business contacts, associates, and partners attracts opportunities for you. There is much sentiment or romanticism in your nature. Happiness may depend upon assuring firm or lasting romantic associations. Aesthetic inclinations are strongly marked, giving you deep interest in art or music. You appreciate the finer things in life and may succeed in a cultural direction. You have a good sense of balance or equilibrium and possess a deep understanding of the major principles of life. Good judgment within, with practical talent and patient effort can carry you far. Your capacity for mental and emotional balance assures peace and success in life, okay? And please be patient with me if my software gives out as a conflict I've, ha I've been having that I can't fix. So if the video interrupts, just realize I'll be back. Alrighty, um, so Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guys Universe, can you please show me January, February, March for Libra Sun, Gemini Moon, January, February, March, Libra Sun, Gemini Moon, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, it's weird, you got that for my weekly reading I just did, um, can you please show me energies, 2019, Libra Sun, Taurus Moon, April, May, June, April, May, June, Libra Sun, Taurus Moon, the double card in the upright. What do you see for July, August, September? The Nine of Cups in the upright. And then for October, November, December, October, November, December, Libra Sun, Taurus Moons. I see the full card. Okay, so I see this, this trend, this transition actually through the entire year. You're starting off the year with trying to balance, trying to figure something out. You guys are working your butts off, okay? You might be trying a variety of options, a variety of jobs. Um, you might have to have a variety of jobs in order to, um, you know, stretch your pocket out to be able to pay the bills. Um, that's why I said you guys are really working your butt off. Not a lot of room for your personal life, not a room for love in the beginning of the year. You're just kind of focusing on, like I said, being able to pay the bills, making ends meet by any means necessary, balancing your budget, so to speak. Um, so, but the good part is that I see you coming out of it April, May, June, because we have the devil card in the reverse. So that's an unhealthy situation, a toxic situation, a dark situation that you were in that you didn't think you could get out of and you're finding, seeing the way out of it, okay? And I think it's because, I mean, I think this was the situation here that you were kind of bound to and you actually come out of it in April, May, June. You see the light, you see the way out, you go towards the light. 
July, August, September brings you happiness. We have the Nine of Cups in the upright. So you see how it starts off like this and it's starting to go up. So the Nine of Cups is about being very fulfilled, very happy, very content. All your wishes are coming true. Some of you, you're experiencing wonderful health. Um, everything, all the plans that you have set about are being realized. Um, you're having a lot of success, a lot of abundance. Um, I often think of the Nine of Cups as like, there, there isn't any room for another, you know, you're, the, the table is full. I always think of the table is full of a feast. There isn't any room for anything else because it's so abundant. Um, and you're very well fed and taken care of. So I like that in July, August, September. And we end the year with a full card in the upright. So after you've had this whole transition throughout the year, you're ready for a new beginning. I feel like you've come through this journey and now you're like, okay, I'm ready to set out in the world. I'm ready to figure out what I want to do. You're kind of throwing your fears out the window. You might be embarking on a new career, might be starting out a new job might be trying out a new relationship you might be just stepping out into the single world um, you might be leaving a home and and having an adventure you know with your little backpack on um, just taking things as they come the sun shining on your face very positive towards the end of the year for you guys okay so make sure you click on the link below I'll be pulling clarifiers on this and we'll get into the nitty-gritty um, if it resonated with you definitely consider a personal reading my rates my info my email are below otherwise all the best to you in 2019 Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.